1998 Ford Ranger, otherwise known as a learning vehicle here. Oh, Evilcraft is back at it again. It's this driver's side. Uh, floor patch repair. Yep, uh, let's say this is day three. So, it's been a little bit busy since day two. I got the patch in right there. Got to clean it up a little bit. But right now, uh, I, I you probably don't remember, but I had to form another patch, which is there's a hole here and there's a hole here. So sometimes a, a little technique I do is I'll throw a piece of tape down, still measure, and I'll throw transfer this piece of tape onto a piece of metal, just for a rough measurement, and then I'll cut from there. And uh, I already pulled off the measurement already. It's pretty much a, a eight and a half inches long uh, and about two and a half inches wide from here to here. And uh, I'm gonna pretty much uh, go from there. So that's just a little technique I thought I'd share for a quick reference. And you can also take that same tape, okay? And you can throw it on a. piece of metal and see that's that's what I'm gonna have to put a create a patch for which is that right there yeah so anyway man the truck just turned 172,000 miles which is pretty cool I just thought I'd capture that on film and all right so we'll just keep on keeping on because the daylight is burning. Literally. I'm going to get the camera set up. So, uh, so that's the rough, rough stock I'm working with. And see, this is what I was talking about here with that piece. You could throw that piece of tape on there like so. You know, as a, as a, as a rough guide. I'm gonna go right there because you can you can always uh I found it's easier to I used to go a little bit wider versus trying to weld more stuff back in there so I'm gonna clamp that on there clamp that on there alrighty so Where was I at? So I'll just move my my new marks up to there, so I know where I'm going for. Okay. If I want to be all fancy like. My triangle there. Draw another line. All right. So see, that was a quick little guesstimate of what I did. And then we'll just cut, cut off some stock. back over here oh yeah Put the styler back in Let's see what we can do here I'm working on a on a, on a, on a tripod okay and so Roughly now, right? I'm gonna have to kind of fab it up a little bit. That will go in there just like so. Okay. And I'll just I think I'll go. I'll look nice right there. 
And then I will take a Trying to get in the way of the camera here. I'll take my angle. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. And I'm just gonna go here so I know what I gotta cut off. Actually, I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I know I'm going to fold this in. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine what, what you guys are seeing on video. So like that. Uh, this is going to bang down in there like so. Now I'll just drop a rough line with the, uh, the, with the human calculating eye. All right. And that's what I'll cut off. I'm gonna cut on that side of the line. And I'll cut off that side of the line, okay? And then we'll come back right over here. And this is kind of how I roughly fabricate stuff. I don't do anything foncy poncy I just kinda keep it simple because that that metal itself is gonna be a uh, I'm gonna like you say cut it in and butt it in more or less okay but I just wanted to get it in the neighborhood I think you guys can see me on film there. I'm just doing this quickly on the fly. Let me see. I feel better going the other way. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'll bring it back a little bit. Bring it up. Over. on that side of the line. Swing the camera back around.
let's see. No. Yep, like so. Want a little high up that way. I think I had a flip door, didn't I? Yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we had it like so. something like that okay little fiddling <sighs> all right and then I'm just gonna there you go well you guys get the idea <laughs> anyway it's been a long day let me just keep fussing around with this a little bit right there there you go And I might just cut off a little bit right there. Or you know what? I might, uh, anyway, but there you have it. Let me uh, take you off the mount. took it off the camera mount so there you go so basically what I would probably do I'm not sure yet because I'm gonna have to stop is I'm gonna go from there and I can just weld this in in place zip 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 and then weld weld spot 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 weld that this is what I might do spot weld spot weld spot weld spot weld and then zip down the lines like so and uh, the met the other old metal will pop out on the back side we'll see yeah and uh, if I'm a little short I might have to add on a piece but anyway that was just a quick demonstration of kind of how I how I think about stuff and if I need to get a little piece of metal here I'll throw a little dabber there and a little dabber there all right now well you guys have yourself a great able craft day and uh be able because if i can do it you guys can do it better all right you guys take care and this is i want to say this is day three forming the patch